Hello friends. Before I begin, I just want to wish everyone a happy holiday um, and a happy new year as well. Hope you're all hope you're all having a good time and uh, be safe and uh, happy new year. Um, now that that's out of the way, an, a quick disclaimer before you start watching this video. Um, this is a this is going to be a very in-depth um, video, uh, not only about how to make one of my specific guns, uh, but also um, variations on that gun that you could do uh, with different various parts um, and just kind of the workings of a QEV. Uh, this is a video specifically for one of my uh, subscribers and uh, maybe uh, my first ever uh, Patreon um, supporter. I have yet to see if that's going to happen, but uh, his name is Russell Russell. So, Russell Russell, this one is for you. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so you wanted to know about my arrow gun. My, uh, what would they call it? Uh, uh, Airbow is what they call it. Um, that gun currently is no more. Um, if you watched my videos, which I believe you have, uh, you'll have seen that the carbon fiber barrel um, exploded on me um, at about 600 PSI. So if you're planning on making that gun um, at 600 PSI, uh, you might want to find a different barrel. Um, if that is the case, let me know in the comments and I'll try and figure out what barrel would work with the arrow. Um, that I am going to describe here in just a moment. Um, otherwise, if you're going to be shooting at less than 600 psi, whether it's regulated to you know 500 or you you're, you know you can only fill up to 300, I don't know exactly what you're trying to do with this or what uh, you know your uh, requirements are. But um, if you're shooting at less than 600 psi, uh, you should be fine with the carbon fiber barrel, which I am going to describe here shortly. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a few tanks. Um, I've got uh, a trigger assembly and I've got my 22 caliber uh, bolt action uh, pellet gun here. Uh, most of the parts that are on this gun are uh, what I used in the uh, airbow. Um, they're just uh, in a slightly different configuration, but they're the exact same parts and, and I'll describe those here in just a second. So here we go. Um, the quick exhaust valve, the QEV, right here, the silver part, is a SMC brand, uh, and the model number of it is AQ1510. Um, so that's that's the one you're going to want. Um, you can find those on eBay. I'm not sure where uh, you are living, um, but uh, eBay US has tons of them. Uh, I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. Um, they're they're pretty cheap, 10, 15 bucks, newer used uh, for that. The crossbow bolt, uh, the the arrow that I used, was a 20 inch aluminum Carbon Express Game Slayer. The carbon barrel that I used was a it was actually an arrow that I cut the um, the fletching off of and I cut the front of it off, uh, made it about 20 inches because that's how long the bolt is that slides over it. Uh, but the, the carbon barrel is a Carbon Rebel 6075. Once again, you can find those on uh, Amazon, eBay. Um, if you have a local sporting goods store, you can probably find either of those as well. Um, both the, the 20 inch Carbon Express Game Slayer and the Carbon Rebel 6075. Um, then you'll also, need, I'll, I'll just go into kind of how you should set this up. And once again, I'm going to go into a couple different variations depending on how, uh, what you're looking to accomplish. Um, and if you have any more questions, uh, like I said, leave them a comment and, and I'll, I'll try and get back to you on what exactly I'm talking about. Um, but, okay, so the way that this should be set up, pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a different setup than what this one currently looks like just because uh, the orientation of this is kind of off for what you'd want to do um, for your uh, for the arrow gun, but I'll go into it regardless. Okay, so you start off with your 
quick exhaust valve, which is this silver part here that I'm pointing to. And the I'm going to go into the fundamentals of how this operates too. So, like I said, I apologize if anyone, no one else should be watching this. This is going to be a ridiculously long video. Even Russell Russell, I apologize if this is like way too in depth, but I figured I'd just break it all down for you and show you different variations of how to make uh, the gun depending on what you want it to do. So anyway, you're going to start off with your quick exhaust valve. And like I said, it's SMC AQ1510. Uh, the way that this works, it has three ports. This lower port and then uh, one in the front and one in the rear. Uh, th this lower port is your chamber. No matter how you set it up, this lower port is always going to be your chamber. Um, so, low port is your chamber. The, I'll call it the rear port, is going to be generally, which I'll get into in a second, your fill port and your pilot port. Um, <clears throat> pilot in this case means firing. Um, so that's your fill and your pilot. This port on this side is going to be your uh, exhaust, or in this case this is where your barrel is going to attach to. Um, so yeah, what you do, take your quick exhaust valve, you attach a, I'll start off with a multi-shot gun. Um, this one's going to be a little more complex to build. There's going to be a couple more parts, um, but it's going to give you multiple shots out of one, you know, chamber. Um, and then I'll go into a, a single shot version of it, uh, as well as another uh, different filling uh, variation. Um, anyway, getting ahead of myself. Make the multi-shot one that I'm pretty sure you're most interested in. Start off with your QEV. Uh, what you're going to need, uh, this is uh, an eighth inch NPT QEV, so all ports on it are eighth inch NPT. Um, so what you need from there is you're going to need uh, an eighth inch NPT T, which is this brass part here. You're going to need an eighth inch NPT short male nipple. Uh, you're going to need three of those actually. There's one here, which is the white part. There's one here, and there's one here. So, QEV, eighth inch NPT three way, or T, three eighth inch NPT short male nipples, and then this part here, I'll find you a link to and I'll, I'll write it in the description for you. This is a 3000 PSI rated um, hydraulic self-closing fitting. Um, so when you fill this up, um, when you disconnect it, it, there's a check valve in there and so when you disconnect it all the air doesn't come back out obviously. Uh, and it, uh, Some other users they'll put a, a ball valve um, in front of it uh, if it's if it's non self closing it just adds another part and it adds length and it, it's just sloppy in my opinion so uh, definitely use this guy like I said I'll have a link to exactly what this is in the description um, now I'll get into the chamber what I use uh, is a soda stream bottle these are 0.64 liter I believe yep they are 0.64 liter um, you're going to have to do a couple modifications to this. First of all, obviously, you're going to want to make sure that the bottle is completely empty. Uh, there's going to be a pin in the top of it. All you do is depress that pin. Um, if it does have some gas in it, um, depress that pin and let all the gas leak out. Then you want to uh, unthread the, uh, the fitting here. And this one is in there really tight, so I won't be able to show you on that. Um, but anyway, what it does is just unthreads. It's uh, normal. It's not reverse thread or anything. The bottle just threads off. Um, so you're going to want to do that. You're going to be. You're going to end up with just. I have a video on this too, which I'll link in the description. Because um, some of this I am covering kind of for a second time. But uh, you're going to take this brass piece off. It's going to have some stupid proprietary threads that connect to a soda stream bottle. So you're going to take this off. You're going to cut that off. Whatever you do, what you know, hacksaw, 
you know, if you have a lathe, great, um, you know, cut off wheel, air grinder, uh, even like a, a, a disc grinder, just cut that off, cut it flat, uh, and then you're going to uh, drill and tap it for eighth inch NPT. So you'll need um, the correct size drill, uh, which I can probably link in the description as well. Um, or at least, you know, name what it is. I, I don't recall off the top of my head what size that is. Um, but you're going to need the drill bit, and you're going to need an eighth inch NPT tap. So you're going to drill and tap that uh, for eighth inch NPT, reassemble it all, and then this is one of your close male eighth inch NPT nipples. Screw him in there with some Teflon tape, and you're going to have your T. Um, not in this orientation, the, the, the lower part of the T is going to plug into your QEV and then the two ports are going to be facing front and rear. Now this, you can obviously change this up if you want to, it doesn't really matter the orientation of it, uh, but you want your, your large chamber to be facing uh, the front, which is this part here. So you want the chamber coming out there, you thread all that together with your close nipples and you're good to go for your chamber then. Uh, so the next part is going to be um, uh, your barrel. Uh, so like I said, uh, you've got that carbon barrel. Um, you're going to need a very short length of uh, quarter inch brass tubing. Um, by short length I mean a couple inches max. That's all you need. Uh, the shortest you'll probably be able to find it is probably going to be something like a foot or maybe six inches. Um, so grab that, you're going to cut a small section of it off, um, and what you need to do is you need to file, uh, so this is it right here, this is a quarter inch brass barrel, um, what you need to do is you need to take it in a, in a lathe or a drill press or, or even a drill, uh, you could even do it by hand if you don't have the tools to do this, uh, and you file down, um, let's, let's say you have three inches of it, you're going to file down about an inch and a half to two inches so that it fits snugly inside the uh, Carbon Rebel 6075 barrel. Um, so you have an, an inch and a half to two inches of it that you stuff inside uh, the carbon barrel. Um, I would probably use some CA glue or any kind of glue you have to secure it in there. Then the other part is going to be uh, an eighth inch NPT to quarter inch compression fitting and that will thread into here into the front of the QEV uh, you're going to want to use your Teflon tape on there as well and then you're going to have your carbon barrel with about an inch and a half to one inch of uh, brass rod sticking out of it and that's going to fit into the compression fitting just like this guy this is what you need right here this is the compression fitting uh, so the barrel is going to slide in there you tighten that up and you're good. That's your barrel done and ready to go. Um, the next thing, yeah, if you want the multiple shot capacity like I have on, on my gun, um, you're going to want uh, a three-way two-position valve. Um, if you're shooting under 300 PSI, you can also use uh, a slide valve. Um, after 300-ish PSI, they get really hard to slide. So I use a two-position three-way valve. Uh, that has a trigger mechanism. Um, in this case, this valve is a Clippard MJTV3. Um, once again, you can find that on eBay, um, 10, 15 bucks tops. So you're going to take that guy. Um, you're going to need a one more um, eighth inch NPT close male nipple that will thread into the back of the QEV and into the front of the clippered valve. Uh, the last thing you're going to need if you want a uh, multi-shot capacity uh, is you're going to need some kind of chamber, um, a small chamber, and that's what this is here, this brass piece. Um, I don't really have anything to suggest that you get because I'm you pretty much you're gonna have to make one of these um, you could probably make it out of copper tubing uh, maybe even like galvanized steel or something uh, brass 
uh, it's not really going to matter what it is, um, but what it's going to be is it's just going to be uh, a chamber that's sealed on one end and open on the other. Um, I'll try and come up with something and write it in the description for what you could potentially use. Uh, I would think plumbing fittings are going to probably be your best bet. What I would think you're going to do is you're probably going to find um, a piece of uh, like copper tubing, probably um, like half an inch in diameter, cap off one end and then reduce the other end to eighth inch NPT so it threads into your clippered valve and that's going to be it. So what that allows you to do um, is you fill from your chamber side the, the diaphragm inside the QEV presses up against the barrel sealing it and then the air comes through and it's directed into um, this clippered valve which is normally closed and uh, it fills up your tank and then when you fire what happens is you pull the trigger the pilot volume the volume behind the diaphragm dumps into this chamber which is sealed um, so it dumps into there the pressure uh, also when it when it dumps when it opens the QEV the diaphragm flies back opening up the barrel and shooting the arrow off um, this all happens like more or less instantaneously so pull this pilot volume dumps into the chamber uh, the air from your reservoir shoots out the barrel um, at the same time because this is closed the pilot volume equalizes in here and it forces the uh, diaphragm inside the QEV back shut. Like I said, this all happens more or less instantaneously. Um, then when you let go of the trigger, uh, it opens up a path from here to the exhaust port on the quick exhaust valve and so it just dumps the small volume uh, of this chamber out the exhaust port. Uh, now, there are many, 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 many other ways to do this. Um, if you didn't want um, the hassle of uh, this two-position three-way valve and, and, you know, making or sourcing another small little chamber, uh, you could also use something like this pressure washer handle I have here. Uh, I got this one from Mills Fleet Farm. You can order from them uh, offline. Um, they actually, for some reason, had the cheapest price on this. This is $21 uh, for this. It's a 3 8 inch NPT fitting on the front here. It normally has a wand that sticks out like 2 or 3 feet, um, but it, it just unthreads. It's 3 8 inch NPT, and then it's also um, half, I believe it's, I believe it's half inch NPT on this side. Uh, so the way that you do this, um, if you want a little more, you know, ergonomic handle, and this one still has multi-shot capacity as well. Um, if you want to do it this way, like I said, I'll have a link for this in the description. Really, really simple. You take the barrel out, the, the stock one, you get a um, 3 8 to 8 inch NPT adapter, uh, so it would be uh, male on both ends. If you can't find one of those, you would want a male 3 8 uh, to 8 inch female, and then you need another 8 inch short uh, male nipple, and that would uh, just thread right into the back of the QEV. Then the other thing you want, if you want it multi shot, uh, I'll go into that in a second here. If you want it single shot, just leave it as is. This port on the bottom will be wide open. This is something I added down here. Um, if you want it single shot, then just leave it as is. You pull this and it's going to dump the entire volume of the chamber out the barrel. Uh, it's kind of inefficient that way. Um, if you wanted a lot smaller chamber, you could do that. If you just wanted you know, it to be efficient but only a single shot, you could get uh, a much smaller, they make smaller soda stream bottles as well. Um, that would be you know, more uh, practical if you were just looking to do a single shot. Um, 
But anyway, if you want multiple shot, um, you can do this setup that I developed. And what this is, is uh, it makes more or less this chamber uh, right here. And so what it is, is it's a uh, half inch, um, half inch to eighth inch NPT adapter. And then this is, that's what uh, this part here is. Then this part here is an eighth inch Schrader valve. Um, so the way that this would work is you thread it in with your eighth inch close nipple and your adapter. And then what happens is when you pull the trigger, it fires, it's, it's the exact same as this, it's just in a, you know, a little fancier looking uh, setup. Uh, you pull the trigger, it fires, you release, that's the end of that, and then in order to fire again, you uh, depress the Schrader valve, it dumps the, the small amount of volume inside this reservoir, and you're ready to shoot again. You can probably get, uh, depending on how uh, high you, you fill your reservoir, you can probably get, you know, 20 shots out of it. Um, so yeah. Uh, the other setup you can do, sorry this is so long, but I figured I'd just try and cover everything. There's another setup you can do um, where you uh, fill from the pilot side, which is normally what you do in a, in a quick exhaust valve. Normally you don't fill from the chamber side. Um, so if you wanted to do the fill from the pilot side, I will go grab something really quick and I will show you uh, the approximate way to do that. All right. So here's one of those smaller um, soda stream bottles that I was just uh, talking about, and this is this is a, a, a different thread than what it would have on it from the factory, um, but this will give you an idea of, of uh, kind of what it looks like. So uh, in the previous setup that I was talking about, you need to chop uh, this threaded portion off and then drill and tap it for eighth inch NPT. So anyway, this is a smaller soda stream bottle. You can find these once again, uh, you know, used and empty on eBay for dirt cheap, uh, this size, this size, or even this uh, massive size there, um, that's for another project, but um, yeah, anyway, uh, if you wanted to fill from the uh, pilot side, it kind of has a different uh, mode of operation, um, uh, and so I will describe that for you right now. I've never built one like this, but uh, I, I plan on doing it in the future. Okay, so you'd have the same thing. You'd have your same SMC uh, quick exhaust valve. You'd have your same barrel on the front, the way I described it. Uh, and then what you'd end up doing is you would have your fitting that I talked about, and I'll have a link to in the description about how to make it again. Um, you'd have your fitting in here. Uh, this would be chopped off, it would be drilled and tapped for 8th inch NPT, and you wouldn't need the T down here then. What you'd have is something uh, like this would be uh, attached directly to the, the bottom port on your quick exhaust valve. Um, so we'll imagine that there instead of the long bottle. Uh, this volume, honestly, probably a little bit more than you'd need. Uh, for this particular setup, but we're just going to use this for the time being. So you have that connected there. Then what you have is um, you need your two position three way valve. Like I said, uh, you know, we're talking about this clippered here, but it could be any valve that's uh, uh, in this particular instance, eighth inch uh, NPT two position three way valve. You could use any of them. Um, this is just the one that I decided to use. Clippert is, is, a, is a good company. They're, they're, made in, uh, they're made in Ohio, they're made in the USA, and um, they're, they use a really nice brass construction, so I, I prefer them. But anyway, um, so you got your small soda stream bottle hooked up to the bottom. Then uh, your, your uh, two position three way valve would still be hooked up the same way. The front of it would be hooked up to the to the rear of the quick ex, uh, quick exhaust valve. 
Uh, but the, the way that this is kind of different is the way that it's filled. So instead of your T being where it is here, it gets moved um, to uh, up this bottle. Uh, you have a large reservoir then, like this one, with a T on it, and that's connected with your eighth inch NPT close nipples, uh, and that is connected to one of the ports on your two position three-way valve. Uh, so you fill from the reservoir, and the way that this works um, is one of the ports is always open from, no, you're going to have to visualize this. Uh, so this guy, the orientation of this is all wrong. Uh, these two would be in line with each other, not at a 90 degree. But um, let's see if I can maybe potentially do this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So imagine that your T is here with this filling, uh, this fill port on it. Um, and this guy is, is hooked up to your uh, two position three way valve. So you fill, it fills this up. Uh, this port is always open to your quick exhaust valve. And so what it does is it fills up this tiny chamber. And this is the, the volume that your shot is going to release. And you can, uh, you can mess around with that um, by, you know, putting a smaller volume in there or, or putting a larger volume. That's just the amount of air. The amount of air that this stores is the volume that it's going to dump through your barrel. Um, there's a bunch of formulas online. Some people say uh, the volume of the barrel, uh, all you need is, is that volume to have a decent shot. It'll be nice and quiet. Some people say you need up to four times the volume of the barrel to make a really powerful shot. Uh, obviously, you can mess around with that and see you know, what in particular works for you. But anyway, this port, when it's not depressed, is always open to here, so it fills this up. Then, when you depress it, uh, the trigger, what it does is it seals off this port and it opens up uh, the port from here to atmosphere. And so what happens is the diaphragm inside the quick exhaust valve flies back, the volume of your small chamber then dumps out the barrel and um, a little bit of it just exhausts out the three position two way valve. Um, so yeah, hopefully that, I mean, I'm sorry this was such a, a crazy long video. I hope that, you know, covered mostly what you're, what you were trying to ask. Um, if you have uh, any questions, you can comment, and I will try my best to uh, answer your questions. Uh, I can even make another video if, if you need that, if you need a little more in-depth um, explanation. So anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I will see what you have to say. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, anyone who made it through this, bravo, congratulations. Um, please don't dislike this video. I warned you <laughs> that it was going to be uh, very uh, long. So anyway, that's going to be it for me, and uh, see you later.